What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog and today it's another episode of my SARM series. So we're gonna cover Andarin or S4. Okay, so yung Andarin is a form of SARM or Selective Androgen Receptor Modulator. So kung interested ka to learn more about SARM, just keep watching and let's go! It's not a game, it's a rich thing! First of all, I'm a registered nurse and uh, I'm a certified personal trainer here in the UAE but I am not a doctor. So any knowledge na makukuha nyo mula sa akin, bahala na kayo doon. This video is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. So what is S4 or Andarine? So it's a form of SARM selective androgen receptor modulator and it was being developed by GTX Incorporated. So marami na rin SARMs na dinidevelop yung GTX and isa na dyan is yung S4 nga. Okay, so a main purpose ng um, S4 is just like any other SARMs to be used in the medical field for muscle wasting, like for chemotherapy patients, so those kinds of things. Basta anything related to muscle wasting, doon nila balak gamitin yung SARM. Just like Andrine or S4, alright? So if we are going to compare S4 to the steroid world or to the dark side, it's gonna be Winstrol. Kasi it's a really good fat burner. It can give you that lean, dry, dense, shredded look na hinahanap natin. Yung talagang pangwasakan talaga na ibinibigay sa atin ng Winstrol, kaya mong kunin from S4 without those side effects. Winstrol, it's a really good gear. But the problem is it messes up with your cholesterol. So good cutting gear siya kasi it it will not give you any water retention talaga and ibibigay niya talaga yung hard, dense, shredded look na hinahanap mo and isa pang problema sa Winstrol is yung joint pains so masakit yan sa mga joints, along lalo na sa elbows, shoulder, sa wrist kahit sa mga daliri mo masakit yan and it worsens after the cycle mas lalo mong mararamdaman yan and mas prone ka sa injury after your cycle of Winstrol okay, so yun yung nagiging problema sa Winstrol and if gusto mong makuha yon without those side effects, better switch to S4. That's a good option. Pero hindi rin siya for beginners, alright? So it's not a very strong SARM compared to other SARMs, but it is not recommended for beginners. I don't want you to jump straight to S4 if you want to get shredded. Um, it's not like Osterine. Osterine is really for beginners. And so yung, if bago ka pa lang and gusto mong mag-try ng SARMs, it's better to start with Osterine or Cardarine. And yun, assess mo muna yung sarili mo, see how your body reacts, and then maybe on your next cycle, you can add S4, right? So assess yourself first, and huwag tayong masyado magmadali, right? So one of the good things about S4 is, it is a very versatile compound, okay? So pwede mo siyang gamitin for shredding or cutting, for body recomp, even for bulking. Even though, ang best choice ko pa rin, if you really want to get massive, big size, big frame, is going to be RAD 140 and LGD. So, yun talaga yung pure bulking SARMs, okay? Kung gusto mo talaga lumaki, size up ka talaga, it's gonna be RAD 140 and LGD. But, if you want to go on like lean bulking, you can stack it with S4, okay? It's gonna be quality lean bulk. So, recently, I received a message about uh, SARM cycle, okay? So, normal naman yun. Every day may SARM cycle question naman sa akin. So, okay ba daw i-stack yung SARMs to SARMs or SARMs with other compounds or SARMs with steroids? So, personally, hindi ko pa na-try yung SARMs to SARMs or SARMs with steroids. Kasi first of all, ang main goal mo nga on taking SARMs is to stay away from steroids or just to take a break from steroids, di ba? So, why you will stack steroids with a SARM, di ba? So, yun lang yung point of view ko. And so, yun. Usually kasi ang ginagawa kong cycle ng SARMs is SARMs with other compounds. Like SARMs with MK677. Like RAD140 with MK677 when I was bulking. So, yung MK677 is not a SARM. It's a growth hormone secretagogue. But usually, kasama lang siya sa SARMs group. So, RAD140 and MK677, yun yung bulking stock na ginawa ko. And then, for cutting stock naman, Osterine is a SARM. And 
card the ring, card the ring is na doy sam. Okay? So, yung mga nagamit ko personally, pero yung Sam's to Sam's like um, Rad 140 with LGD, hindi ko pa siya na try personally, just to be honest. So, ayun. And Sam's with steroids, no. 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 So, ayun lang naman yung personal usage ko. But I'm not saying you cannot stock SARMs with SARMs. Okay? Kasi one of my clients, I let him stock RAD140, LGD, and S4 for his uh, lean bulking. And the result was amazing. So, if you already ran uh, like a few cycles of SARMs before, you can use S4. You can stock it with other SARMs. Or you can stock it like with Carterine uh, for pure cutting. So, okay lang yung walang problema doon. And it can also be used like by itself lang without stacking to any other SARM or any other compound. Wala rin problema doon as long as uh, you run a cycle of SARMs before. Hindi yung, you will go directly to S4. Now let's talk about the side effects. Sabi nila, kapag sa SARMs, there's always uh, like just a little to none side effects. Okay? But just to be fair, um, for S4, it's gonna be a vision problem, okay? Pero hindi naman ganun ka-serious and hindi naman lahat na-experience yung vision problem, okay? Vision problem, parang nagiging yellowish yung paningin mo and medyo dim lang. Alam mo yung sa phone mo, yung eye comfort na option, eye comfort, parang nagiging medyo, or yung blue, blue light na tinatawag. So, eye comfort, ah, eye comfort. <laughs> pansin nyo, parang nagiging yellowish siya and medyo dim yung paningin mo pero hindi naman yung na-experience ng lahat okay, and then isa pa is yung testosterone suppression, okay so, just like RAD, Osterin and LGD it can suppress your testosterone pero madali mo naman yung ibalik and ma-recover yung testosterone levels mo compared to steroids na medyo matagal talaga and of course, you need to take a PCT after na i-discuss natin later on. So, it's not like na mabubulag ka na. It's not that serious. Okay? So, don't freak out. And nararanasan lang naman yun. Nararamdaman mo lang naman yun. Mapapansin mo lang yun kapag night time. And kapag mataas yung dosage mo. Okay? So, if you are just staying at 25 milligrams, you'll be good. Okay? Kasi usually, um, lumalabas yung grams side effects if you're hitting around 50 milligrams above of S4. Right? So, stick to 25 milligrams, you'll be good. Don't worry. So, speaking of the dosage, optimal range is gonna be 25 milligrams to 50 milligrams. But if bago ka pa lang on using S4, I suggest mag start ka muna to 25 milligrams, run it for a couple of weeks, then see how it goes. Kapag wala ka mong nararamdaman kakaiba, and you feel good about it, try increasing to 50 milligrams, and cycle length hindi siya katulad ng iba na kailangan mo siyang iran ng 12 to 16 weeks you don't have to um, you'll be good at 8 weeks okay 8 weeks cycle length of S4 so female dosage optimal dosage for female is gonna be the same 25 milligrams to 50 milligrams per day unlike other SARMs usually mas mababa yung female dosage but for S4 press lang pero depende syempre sa level mo as a lifter um as a gym goer kasi like for example punta ka sa gym and magka cardio ka lang and you will work out just your glutes so you'll be good at 25 milligrams I stick to that for 8 weeks cycle length and then if you are a hardcore chick na talagang you're banging and talagang pushing hard in the weight room and then for example you're going for a competition like a bodybuilding competition bikini figure something like that and you feel good for a couple of weeks on 25 milligrams per day you can jump up to 50 milligrams if you don't have any problems with that you can finish that on an 8 week cycle as well so, ayan. now if you're planning to run S4 with Cardarine you don't have to run them for 12 weeks or more okay so if you're running S4 for 8 weeks run Cardarine for eight weeks as well okay as long as you are on a caloric deficit your diet and training is on point eight weeks okay neon just call it a day and for sure uh, you will get the results that you want in that span of eight weeks okay so after your cycle you have to do a pct especially for men 
basic PCT as always it's gonna be tamoxifen tamoxifen is the generic name and then brand name usually it's Nolvadex okay 20 milligrams for four weeks okay and then pag babae ka man female you don't have to run a PCT okay so pagkatapos ng cycle mo lalaki ka and then you don't feel any symptoms of testosterone suppression do you still need to take a PCT sabi ko nga di ba yung testosterone suppression na nakukuha mo from SARMS hindi yan ganun kabagsa compared sa suppression na pwede mong makuha from steroids okay suppress pa rin yung testosterone mo hindi mo lang siya nararamdaman kasi hindi siya ganun kabagsa unlike with steroids okay so mas mabilis kang makarecover from your suppression with SARMS than suppression from steroids but it doesn't mean na hindi mo na kailangan mag take ng PCT kasi suppressed pa rin yan so you have to take your PCT, napakamura lang naman yan, hindi naman yung ganun kamahal. And of course, hindi rin yung ganun kahirap i-take. Hindi mo yung kailangan iturok sa katawan mo. It's just an oral pills na iinumin mo. 20 mg per day for 4 weeks. And then that's it. You're clear. So I think that's it. Na-cover na natin lahat. Benefits, side effect, dosage, cycle length, PCT. Okay na, no? So, if may nakalimutan ako, just comment down below. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions, questions. Comment lang kayo sa baba or reach me out on my other social media platforms. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube of course. So, yun. I'll see you guys next time. God bless.